All right, guys, so I'm here with Lisa. She has been informed of the finger injury. Oh, no. <laughs> so she's gonna help me out, and we're gonna figure out what workouts I can do now, and how can I condition my body so that way I can continue working out and recover from this injury. And support your joints, because the muscles that surround your joints are very important to actually increasing your climbing ability, and while you have this little injury, we can actually improve a lot of strength in those areas. We're gonna do a warm up for your fingers. We're gonna use the rice bucket to kind of help things out. I'm not sure how much strength you've lost. You're going to dive your fingers down into the rice bucket, and then I'm gonna have you just basically pick up the hand. And so I'm gonna move those muscles around and see if there is a difference in strength in that injured hand, and then I'll know what level of injury that you have. So I'm sticking my injured hand in. And can you lift? Yeah. yeah no problem. Okay. No problem. When I spoke to you before, you said you had trouble lifting. So that's that's it's improved a little bit. Oh yeah. So that's good. That's a good sign. Oh, yeah, I've improved. <laughs> I'm gonna have you do this for a minute. We're moving the muscles and the tendon around here without straining. So I'm gonna have you put your fist in and then shoot the fingers out. So you kind of dive down there, twist it, and then open the fingers out. So Lisa just said, I don't drink enough water. And look what she's bringing me. Uh, so wait, this isn't the margarita station? <laughs> no, the red cup is for the fun look, but we'll be drinking all of this. So you need to lubricate your muscles. Your muscles are a little feisty right now. You have a few injuries. One of the easiest, quickest ways that you can do to help your body repair without really having to do anything. They're like, I call them the lazy man technique. Drink half your body weight in ounces of water per day. Um, get at least, we talked about seven hours of sleep. I love eight. And you're basically not trying to force anything. This is just to encourage it. And all you're doing is noticing what's going on here. You have a shoulder blade on the back. Yeah, it's breathe. You're gonna press the arms back to the back wall and you're gonna slide the The tendency will be for you to lift the hips off or pop the ribs and I want you to keep the ribs down to the side. So I can see there's a lot more. We can actually back and we'll work on that flexibility. There's a little tightness in the back of your leg and you're gonna lift up the hips. Then we'll lower the hover, drive that left heel into the floor, straighten the leg out and pull the toes back. So when you're thinking like left butt is engaged and you're stretching, but you're not like trying to kill it. And then bend the knee and lower to hover. Just look at the sprinters that you see in the Olympics. Oh, They've yeah. got shelves back there. That They've got like these booty, the booty shelves. <laughs> yeah. They got booty shelves. And as you kind of think about your booty shelf, maybe it's not quite such a shelf. We need to build it up. Right now it's just plywood. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa's the muscle whisperer. So that was good. I'm glad that improved. First. There you go. Nice. When you start with your legs, leave your arms behind. Yeah. You're fine. You're gonna lift and then use your abs to decelerate. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so much fun. Guys. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's it. Lowers down the back and then slowly open up those hips, straighten out the body. Head is up now, head is up. Good. And resist as you lower down. So much fun, am I right? Keep your posture nice and tall, your head is up. It likes to drop forward. <laughs> so thanks, Lisa. That was a great workout. I really appreciate it. If you're interested in contacting Lisa, you can reach out to her via email, lisa at centralrockgym.com. All right, guys, so you made it. Here's the Easter egg giveaway. May 25th. 
Uh, you can bring a guest to come climb with you at Central Rock, any location, and uh, there's no restrictions. It doesn't count um, against your guest pass. All you have to do is show the person at the front desk that you subscribe to our YouTube channel only on Friday, May 25th, any CRG location, and you'll get to bring them in for free, no restrictions. Hope you guys enjoy. Happy spring. Bye. Okay, so totally unrelated. I was in Randolph the other day and there's an employee there, Zoe, has a pretty cool hidden talent. And I, I wanted to share it with you guys. Take a look. <laughs> Zoe, you're sick. I didn't even know you had these skills. Oh my God. <laughs> Like, how does it keep going? Oh my goodness. My mind is tripping so hard right now. Yeah, I'm not, you know. All right, so I'm here in Randolph with Mike. He's gonna take it away. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss an episode. See ya.